Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 7, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start by looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, we're down 1.34% at this point. So we have sold off quite drastically making a flag here pattern and we're kind of approaching the measured move from this flag pattern and and we are also significantly, significantly overstretched uh, on the edge of being oversold so uh, a minor rally going forward um, would not surprise me we have a crossing here of the 20 simple moving average and the 50 moving average and at this current stage, both of these moving averages will most likely act as uh, resistant barriers at this point. So we could rally up towards $106, up towards $109, $110 um, before getting rejected. If we break above the 50 moving average, and then we are talking about uh, going back to the previous highs. Just don't see that as outlook for world economy is this dire as everybody expected expects or basically are in recession are at this current stage both the us european and asian economies are not doing very well uh, so next support area is definitely that 200 moving average and to break in below that well that opens a door to significantly lower levels probably all the way down to 84 dollars which was the a previous highs here after that all the way down to 75 and the lower towards 60 to 60 dollars per barrel as um, that is also what major investment banks are expecting oil to drop to at the end of the year um, so it's going to be interesting to see going forward as if there is demand destruction this market will definitely suffer if you look at the MACD, it is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is also bearish, but on the edge of being oversold at this point. So minor rally should be expected before going lower if if this is the new pattern that we we are going to follow. So let's look at natural gas. And natural gas is definitely struggling, but we're struggling at the 200 moving average. So um, around this area here, we're not breaking down lower and we're not going higher at this current stage, but we are significantly uh, basically on the edge of being oversold. So rallies up towards the 20 simple moving average or the, even the 50 moving average, that could be possible. So we may see something similar to this before getting rejected or towards the 50 moving average before getting rejected. And that will also, also uh, coincide with the Fibonacci retracement levels if we look those up we can see the highs here and the lows here we can see that the 38.2 around seven dollars that's where uh, 50 moving average most likely will uh, end up uh, we have the 50 uh, fibonacci retracement here at 7.5 dollars that is uh, also around where the 50 that's just above the 50 moving average and the 61.8 that is all the way up at eight dollars and that is very bullish indeed so best case scenario probably is the uh, 38.2 or the 15 fibonacci tracement uh, before this drops even lower if we were to rally then we need to basically break above this 50 uh, 61.8 and we'll probably do that uh, a few, uh, few months from now as the demand for natural gas uh, increases from europe uh, um, as europe will most likely end up or is in an energy crisis at this current stage. If we look at the MACD, we can see that it's still very bearish. The stochastic is bearish and the RSI is also flat at this point, but only on the edge uh, of being oversold. So a rally at this current stage would be probable. If we break below the 200 moving average, then probably $4 all the way down here is uh, where we'll end up. So I hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck. Thank you very much.